Okay, YouTube, another long day in the shop. How about a shot? Perfect pour every time. Today I have something quick, but very important, and that's the difference between the premium guards and the stock guards that come with the Babyliss Pro uh, Trimmer FX once you get it. So I'm going to get into that real quick and let you know the difference and why you should definitely have the premium ones. So, cheers. Okay. So, if you want to know the difference between these two sets of guards, it's the plastic. The difference is the plastic. And... The plastic on these premium guards are a lot stronger. You'll see how weak they are on the stock guards. And the difference this makes is when you're cutting someone with these stock guards, you'll see, you know, the, the, the it'll bend. And the bigger the clip is, they're going to bend more and more. And you see that? You see the split right there? That's going to cause um, the hair to be cut unevenly. And there's going to be different, like, rows in the guy's head. Or it'll look like lines. And when you're going over with this one, you see it's a lot harder. This plastic is a lot stronger. A lot stronger. So when you're going over people's heads, that's where you're going to see the difference the most because it's going to cut more evenly. It's almost like as if you're cutting with a metal clip. And when you go down the scale, the smaller the clip gets, it makes a difference too. Because you see this little half clip right here? Even these, even these teeth are pretty strong compared to these. And the difference is when you're cutting with a little clip like this and you have it on the side of someone's head, you see how it presses in? And these will bend forward. They'll bend. See how easy these bend, especially in the middle? And what happens when you have this loose, this is going to grab hair and catch it in between the clip and the blade and then you start pulling hair out of the guy's head a lot less likely to happen when the plastic isn't bending and now that i have the clip the guard on the actual clipper this has a metal fastener which if you ask me this is you know these come off kind of easy that's the only downside of those. Believe it or not, these plastic guards, they, they don't they, they they stay latched on a little bit better. But one of the reasons I didn't use this clipper as much in the beginning was because of these stock guards. These stock guards are trash, bro. I, I can't mess with them. So if you have this clipper, definitely need this. The hair is going to look more evenly. It's also going to be a more comfortable cut for your customer. And even if these don't latch on, they latch on strong enough to where I haven't had one pop off in the shop on somebody <laughs> with the, um, in the whole time cutting. So definitely worth it. Worth every penny. One of those must-haves in the barbershop. And it definitely has me using this buzzer a lot more uh, than a lot of the other ones. So, until next time, I felt like this was very important because it was a big change for me um, with this clipper. And even when Wall did it, Wall was the first one I saw that made those plastic premium guards. But it really helped out. You know, the guard is part of the clipper. You can make the best clipper in the world, but if your guard sucks, it's going to reflect on the clipper. So, that's all for tonight. Until then, peace.